Hey guys, the air mailer is here today. Just gonna bring you a um, another video. This is a uh, kind of review on the two guns that I currently use right now and that are in my four part series of Legacy Open Play. I kind of wanted to give you guys an overview of how these guns are right now and some future guns that I might get before our big event in August. But these are my two pretty much best guns I have in my arsenal and um yeah let's get down to it so first we'll start with the secondary which is a 1911 pistol this one here is a co2 non blowback comes with the co2 in the mag I think it can hold about 20 bullets in each mag and I only have one mag because the um Mags are like 30 bucks for new ones and they're pretty hard to get. But this 1911 is made by Wingun. It, um, they're a pretty good company. It's got good trades. It's got the U.S. Combat 1911 on it. And then it tells you where it was made February 14th, 1911, and it was issued to the U.S. Army as their standard issued pistol. And it was used till. I don't know if it was the 90s or something, but it was used for a long time as the standard pistol. And it kind of has its unique serial number down there. And on the back it has no warnings, it has no crap on it. The only thing it has is made in Taiwan, which is better than made in China, because uh, better quality guns are usually made in Taiwan, is what people usually say. Um, the mag just has a little screw thing on the bottom right there that you tighten up your CO2 with. Um, this is a full metal mag, and then all you do is you pull down this little spring right here, and then you just fill it up. The pistol has a full metal slide, full metal slide here, um, fully functioning hammer. When you pull it, when you pull the trigger, it pulls the hammer back. And the slide is fully functional. It has a fully adjustable hop up right there. That little hole. I don't know if they can get um focused in on that, but there's a little hole right right there if you slide this thing down. You can adjust that, it comes with an Allen key. You can also adjust for windage and elevation. Um it's got a tactical rail, it has a fully functioning safety, and it has a slide catch. Um Super powerful pistol, probably not good for um, CQB, which is alright for me because since I play in field usually. One thing that's kind of bad is the mag does not come out that easily. So you kind of got to shake it out or you got to you gotta pull it out. But I don't have to worry about that because I only have one mag and it's just for emergency or close range conditions. So put that aside. It's a great pistol. It was $46 from, I think, Air Split about a year ago I got it. Now, to my my only AEG at the moment. And my favorite gun that I've ever had. It's awesome. What it is, is a G&G &G combat machine. But it's not just an old combat machine that's 140 bucks that you grab, all beginners grab, and they just... Go out and play. This one is fully upgraded. I will start with the the external upgrades, but that's not the only thing. There's a ton of internal upgrades on this. First thing I got, I'll start from the top. Let's see if I can flip things these things open. I have my NC Star 1x30 red dot. And I'll turn it on for you guys and see if you can get a good view of it. This is a pretty quality red dot, but Um, yeah, if you look down in there, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but, never mind, it's, that's kind of stupid. Um, what else? It says NC Star on the side, you can adjust the windage, elevation, everything. It's just a screw-on on your top rail. Alright, after that, we have, I got a CAA flashlight mount with a, this is a Scorpion flashlight, it's not some airsoft flashlight you can buy. I just threw any flashlight in there. It was a little small, so I kind of 
um, strengthened it with an electrical tape to keep it in there. I have an, I think this is an ATP angle grip. It's kind of a generic Magpul, but it's it was fifteen dollars. And then I got these metal rails on it on each side, and then I have a little five inch plastic reel to hold my flashlight on. Next, I have the Streck grip. Um, this was about eight bucks, and I got it from some j weird Japanese tiger website. And it took about two weeks to get here. Like I got that when I first got the gun, which was like last year. Um, it's kind of worn out because it was tan when I got it, but then I spray painted it with this textured black. But it's starting to wear off. But I think it looks pretty cool like that, kind of worn. Next, I got my magazine. Is a is someone someone gave me this mag? It's pretty nice. It's a P mag. It says 30, but it on the top it says 80. It's an 80 round mid cap. It has like these textured things right here. It has kind of a different looking style mag pull, which is really cool. And it's it feeds great in my gun. My gun really only works with mid caps right now. I don't know why, but I'm gonna have to grab some more of them. I have a forty dollar. I don't know what kind of stock this is. I forgot, but it's a uh, it's the six position. It has multiple um, attachment points for slings, and it doesn't shake a lot, and it has a rubber butt pad on it. And then I got a GNP snakeskin um, motor grip. This was thirty dollars. It's got a metal heat sink on the bottom, and it's just a great. It doesn't have the um, hump right here for your index finger. When you put it there, your middle finger goes right there. It just, it's just all flat, and I like that kind of better. Um, <clears throat> and then there's nothing on this side that's been upgraded. Um, for the internals, for the motor, I'm running a GNP High Torque M120 motor. I have a 6.03 Action Army Type Bore Barrel inside. And I have a fully upgraded, reinforced 8mm bushing GNP metal full metal gearbox in there and that's a great gearbox it's just since I've upgraded it um, my high caps that used to feed in the gun are not feeding that well anymore but that's all right I'll just have to run mid caps and it seems that it likes it likes the mag pulls it likes um elites and I think it likes the mag brand mid caps so any of those would work with that with that type of gearbox and yeah it's got a plastic body it's got the original body on it and oh yeah I forgot I got the Magpul PTS Mo handguard on it too yep so yeah it's that's a nice handguard I just run a 9.8 1600 million battery in it and on the last war we probably played for four to five hours I didn't I didn't go for more than one battery the whole day, so that was pretty nice. Um, metal buffer tube, of course. Um, fully automatic, semi, and safety. It's got everything. It's a great... It's really heavy. It's probably about 12 pounds now, but it's a great assault rifle. And it's a great gun for those people that want to spend the little... But can do a ton of upgrades on it. It's a fully upgradable gun. So yeah. Right here I got my GNG combat machine in tan. Right here I got my wind gun. 1911 CO2 non blowback. So yeah. T two of my guns that I'm running currently right now. And they're in my main loadout. So thank you guys. Subscribe to our channel. I'll be posting a loadout. A full loadout of my woodland um, summer gear. Um, that'll probably be tomorrow, and then I should be posting the last part of the the series of my open play at Legacy the, tomorrow or the next day. It's just I don't have a lot of time today. I'm just posting this to give you guys a little look into what I got. So thanks, and have a nice day.